Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Pam and today I want to share with you a short little haul of some items that I found over the last few days. Um, this past week I have set up my antique booth and I will be putting out a video for that within, if not tonight, tomorrow, hopefully. And um, it just goes over setting up the whole booth. It's so cute. So until you see that one, let's talk about some things that I'm going to put in the booth today, okay? The first thing I wanna show you, okay, I'm gonna show you these cute little salt and pepper shakers, okay? They are not marked on the bottom at all. This has a cork, but it's inside, so we may need to get some tweezers or something to get those out, but they're in this really nice white, um, and it's almost as if it's a um, like a B-skip pattern. That's what it looks like to me. It's in the shape of a B-skip, and it has this beautiful blue flower. So this is a nice little salt and pepper shaker that I picked up for $1.95. And that will go in my booth. Those are super cute. Okay, the next thing I want to show you... Starbucks mug. I do collect Starbucks mugs. Um, and actually, I think I'll put this one online in my eBay store because Starbucks mugs sell pretty well. This one, now I just washed it, so it may have a drop or two in it. This one is from 2014, and it's got inside a, I don't know if that's a some Starbucks Coffee Company 01 slash 08. I don't know what that means. <laughs> anyway, so that's in there and this just looks um, really great. It's a nice short mug, great handle, and it's for any coffee lover out there. And speaking of coffee lovers, my next item is a super cute, and I don't know if you can see it, it says Coffee Fix. It's a super cute pink canister. Now this canister is not old. It's from the Masterclass Bake Shop, made in China, but so adorable, I could not pass it up. I paid $1.95 for this. Okay, Coffee Fix is in gold, and it has this nice little bamboo lid, okay? And it's got that little rubber section there that, you know, kind of gives it that little suction here so your coffee can stay fresh. And there's Kiwi. And so that would go great. I do have a couple other Starbucks mugs, but I do have mugs in my booth already, so we'll see. But this was only $1.95. And listen, when I picked it up, the aroma of coffee was like, whoosh. and you know, I'm not a big coffee drinker, and I love the smell of coffee more than I love the taste of coffee. Now, I will drink coffee every once in a while, but um, the smell of coffee, there's just something about it, right? So, and I wash this in the dishwasher, and it still has a little aroma of coffee when you open it up, so. But it has been totally cleaned and sterilized. Um, okay, but in great condition, no chips or cracks. So along with the coffee theme, I'm not sure if I ever showed this to you before, but I picked this sign up at a church rummage sale. And it says, all I need today is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus. And it's in great condition. If this sign actually came from Hobby Lobby, I probably paid 50 cents or less for this sign. So I'm gonna put that in my booth along with my coffee fix and a few of those little mugs that I already have there. So. If you need your coffee fix, you know where to find all the goodies that go with it. Okay, um, more on the coffee. I mean, we're coffee crazy today. So, now, I found these awesome little John Deere mugs. Now, when my baby was smaller, he loved John Deere and had his own little John Deere toy tractor that he rode around on, and we still have it. It's at Granny and Papa's. So this is a mug, maybe for the gentleman in the house. I don't know. This is more of a dainty uh, coffee cup. You could even drink tea if you like it, but it's a little bit more dainty, maybe for granny. 
and maybe this one is for Papa. Who knows? But they're both John Deere. Nothing runs like a deer. Good condition. Very good condition. Okay, and then to top it off, it came with this, which is a little napkin holder. Or you could use this on the table while you're drinking your coffee in the morning as, you know, holding your napkins for your coffee and your, your little biscuits. You know, you got to have sausage biscuit with it. And then um, if you don't want to use it for a little um, napkin holder, you could always use it to hold your mail because, you know, Papa's like to go out and get the mail, put the mail in here, have it, whatever. So this little set I'm gonna sell together in my booth. And I only paid $2.95 for this. So actually, $1, $1, $1. So that was a pretty good deal. And I think I can get a, a little profit off of this if it sells in my booth. So, I'm gonna keep you here something. So, um, <clears throat> Now, we're moving on a little bit from the coffee theme. Um, I, let me show you this first. So, at the same place, I found this Royal Haver bowl. It's footed, and it's in this chocolate brown color. Okay, and right there, I don't know if you can see the sticker. And it is old, old, old. I don't know if you can see Royal Hager there. But that little sticker there, it says roses. Now, in my town, a long time ago, we had a roses dime store. That's what it was called. We still have roses today, but it's not the it's really not the same. You know, it's not the same roses from long ago. And um, so that was downtown. This needs to be washed one more time. But that sticker looks like it came from that roses a long time ago, and it has the number 114 on it, and that's I think that's just the the number for the bowl, the style of the bowl maybe. But it is footed, and you know what? This would be great to have. Um, and I know brown is not the you know most vibrant, best color, but wouldn't this be great as a fall um, centerpiece? Beautiful fall color. So I'm gonna wait and put this out closer to fall. I mean, it really is in great condition. There are no chips, there are no cracks. And actually, I think what happened was, when I was at the, uh, the thrift store, um, the lady was pulling things out from the back. It's not a Goodwill, it's a smaller thrift store. And I'm thinking a lot of things are donated there and they do get a lot of overflow from estate sales that I think, just things that aren't sold at estate sales. So, and, and things are always in really good condition there. So I do like shopping at that little thrift store. Uh, okay, so Royal Hager, love it. And last, I, I wanna show you a few little tea towels that I've started to collect. The first two I wanna show you, they're of little Scotty dogs. Now you can tell this one is very discolored, very yellow. And I bought these from an estate sale. I don't even remember what, I think everything in the closet was a dollar. So I probably paid a dollar for each. And that's not, that's not a bad price, that's fair. So I'm gonna try to see if I can wash these and get them looking a little bit brighter. I found this at that little thrift store that I was telling you about. My lighting is kind of crummy, but anyway. It's beautiful, gray, because you know gray is such a great color. I really love gray. So it's gray flowers, it's beautiful. And it has this nice little lace trim. So cute, so cute. And the last one actually, I purchased from my aunt. She was having a yard sale. And she said that this towel was actually made by her aunt. So, you know, this is a much older, um, <clears throat> because, you know, I'm looking at 50, so, um, this is my aunt's aunt's towels that she had made. So, but look how beautiful, and look at the work. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And this at the bottom, I mean, beautiful. Look at that. So, you know, we know that's like a, a little family heirloom, and, um, I don't even know if I want to sell that one. It's so beautiful, but we'll see. We'll see, but I wanted to show that one to you because it is quite lovely. 
Um, and I think that's it for my haul today. And I want to thank you for sticking with me this long and watching. Now, um, if you would please like this video and